Welcome to the fifth race of the season here at Stockton 99 Speedway in the NASCAR Weekly Racing Series presented by Dodge. We have the Hotwood Western Late Model Division on tap tonight for their first 100 lap event of the year. The first of the three race series that we call the Tri-Holiday Events. We have the Pier Stocks here tonight in the infield area and we have the BCRA and USAC Midgets on hand. And we're going to have a fun night tonight. We want to point out one thing. Over to the left, out of sight right at this moment, this early in the day, is a full moon. And if tradition holds true, we could have a fiberglass fiasco. We know how it goes. I haven't seen anybody out there yet, but usually on these nights there are several people on the other side of the fence selling lots of stupid pills. And a lot of drivers buy a lot of stupid pills on a full moon. And at this time, our illustrious camera operator, Dave Clements, is going to break away do some interviews with some of the drivers, and we hope you enjoy the program tonight. My name is Amy Sullivan, and I drive the number 10 Pure Stock here at 99 Speedway. And as far as what I think about full moon racing, usually there's a lot of stuff going on on the track. Um, we've had nights where there's a really good race, no yellows, but for the most part, everybody kind of goes a little crazy. Um, I've seen people start hitting themselves in the head on the track, you know, trying to get themselves psyched up. I've seen all kinds of different things. Um, there's been nights where we go two laps and then there's a yellow, so it just kind of depends. I, for one, think it's going to be a good night. So. My name is Jeff Saunders. I drive 64J Pure Stock at 99 Speedway. As far as what I think about the full moon racing, uh, my car's turning the best it's ever turned, so all you cheaters look out. <laughs> Chad Holman, drive 75, the slow Pure Stock. Uh, I think full moon is just an excuse for everybody to drive stupid. John Medina, Pure Stock number six. Uh, a bunch of crazy drivers, Holman and Gabor in the dirt, and I come through to win the race. How's that? Hey, hey. <laughs> okay, I'm Perry Jefferson. I drive the O2 Pure Stock car. What do you think about racing on a full moon? Well, I don't know about a full moon. That's uh, usually a little scary, isn't it? Full moon, full moon brings out the best of a lot of people, though. Okay, let's, let's hear. Hi, my name is Ken Ratcliffe. I drive the Pure Stock number 66 car. Uh, Mr. Dave Clements asked me what I feel about driving on a full moon. Hell, hell actually, I don't like, I don't mind it because uh, typically I start out in the back and all the wrecks are going to be up front, and I'll just pass them and win the damn thing. Driving on a full moon? Well, it don't bother me too much just so that 66 doesn't get ahead of me. That guy drives crazy every week. But uh, my name's Charlie Claus, and I'm in the 15J car. I'm planning on going to the front if these crazy guys get ahead of me. I run on a full tank of gas every week, so full moon shouldn't be a problem. I'll see you out there. Uh, my name is David Ball. I drive the 29J. Uh, what I think about full moon is uh, I don't think it affects nothing. You just got to stay out of everybody's way and win the race. Hey, I drive the 23J Pure Stock. You got a name? I don't have a name, but they call me Dustin. <laughs> and I don't care what moon I race underneath. Yeah, okay. Hello, my name is Michael Wint, the number one, one J Pure Stock. All I gotta tell you when there's a full moon is watch out for that 66 car. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, my name is Johnny Bird, the number 67 Pure Stock. Uh, the full moon, I feel right at home under the full moon. Right in here. Tell me who you are. Okay, my name's Ray Bird. I'm number 68. Full moon. Yeah. All righty, tell me who you are and what you do. My name's Brian Miller. I'm a carpenter from Railroad Flat. I drive the 25 Pure Stock. Um, I'm excited to be here racing under the full moon. I hope we win again tonight. <laughs> my name is Cindy Freitas. I drive the number 9 Pure Stock. I'm a housewife, and I don't mind racing with a full moon. Um, hi, I'm Joey Stearns. I drive the number 37 Pure Stock. Um, the full moon really ain't mattered too much to me this year. I've only finished one main event, so uh, maybe this will be my good luck tonight. We'll see. Hi, my name is Kanai Scanlon. I drive the number 8 Pure Stock, and I sure love driving in the full moon because you can get nasty in the full moon. Hi, my name is Michael Matthews. Uh, I drive the 87 Pure Stock. Uh, what I think about racing under the full moon, it, uh, I think it would be 
uh, nice that all the wolves come out and uh, show what they really got. It's Larry Moore. I drive the number 86 pure stock uh, Pontiac Firebird and you know I don't think driving uh, under the full moon makes a difference. Uh, a little more lighting but the guys are gonna wreck and, and get crazy uh, no matter what it is uh, any Saturday night. So. Moore, I raced the 97 pure stock and we're racing under full moon and I think we can crash them up no matter what. Full moon, no moon, it don't matter. Okay, um, I'm Ron McCall. I drive the 07 Pure Stock, and uh, my thoughts on the f full moon is, well, I don't have good luck anyway, so it don't affect me much. So that's about it. Who is in the 65 car? That's Brian Vosberg. In the 66 car, Ken the Rat Radcliffe. In the 68 car from Stockton, Ray Bird. In the 77 car from Lodi, Karen Wagoner. In the 23 car from Stockton, Dustin Himes. And in the 04 car from Stockton, Tom Dahl. The first race of the evening for the Pure Stock Division. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here they come. We have a winner, 600 horsepower, that's right, we have a winner. Once again, according to our sources, the Miller Ford at 8,000 RPMs produces 600 horsepower. He's on a roll. He's way out front. That's Ken the Rat Ratcliffe. He's another one. Ratcliffe, Tom Dahl, Ray Bird, and Karen Wagoner, your first four in the first pure stock heat race of the evening. then on the track second pure stock heat race of the evening in the 25 car from railroad flat that's brian miller on the outside i believe that's the number 29 car of duct tape dave ball number 32 car tonight is bob simpson from stockton number 87 car from stockton michael matthews 
The 86 car from Lodi, Larry Moore, and the number five car, Romp and Rich Harper. come on the pole the 25 car Brian Miller on the outside the number 29 car duct tape Dave Ball coming down off of turn four for the green flag they're racing hey do you ever do shrimp on the barbecue with uh, the hot wood mesquite charcoal shrimp on the barbecue that's what I'm gonna do Tomorrow, maybe steak and shrimp tomorrow. Miller's way out front. Well, not maybe, maybe not way out front, but he's out front of the 32 car of Bob Simpson. Larry Moore, look at Larry Moore. He's coming up on the outside of the 29 car. Takes a look high up. Look, no, 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 not quite. My, oh my, 32 car and the 29 car of duct tape. Dave Ball come together off of turn four. Larry Moore motors around, takes advantage of a bad situation. Larry Moore is in second place now. Duct Tape Dave pulls away from the incident on the front stretch. 32 car fires it up and heads on down the speedway as well. Yellow flag flies on lap number five. Lap number five, your leader in the 25 car, Brian Miller. We're going to have us a real hot rod race going on here just in a minute with Brian Miller on the pole and Larry Moore on the outside. Once again, we want to wish Larry Moore's son a very speedy recovery from his surgery, having open heart surgery, just age six years old. Joseph, get well soon, please. From the staff and management of 99 Speedway, we mean that. Here they come, off the turn. Larry Moore rocketing out front of the 25 car. Oh, well, one lap to go. Larry Moore out front with a comfortable lead. All he's got to do is hang on for another couple of turns. Larry Moore wins his first heat race here at Stockton 99 Speedway. Rookie from Lodi, California. Great job indeed. Followed by the number 25 car, Brian Miller. And in third place, the number 87 car, Michael Matthews. And fourth place, the number five car, that's Romp and Rich Harper.
Well, thank you very much, Wayne. We're ready to start our first 10 lap heat race. On the pole will be the 83 car from uh, San Francisco Cliff Cervetti. It's a Brayton Buick powered stealth. On the outside of the first row, a multi, multi time USAC champion from Costa Mesa, Sleepy Trip, and an Esslinger powered Hawk. Second row on the inside in the car number 25, Jerome Rodella of El Monte, the winner one week ago at Madeira. And on the outside of that first row, number 61, that will be Bill Lindsay of San Carlos in his own Volkswagen powered Diego. The third row is 48 on the inside and it's the brother to Bill, that's Joe Lindsay of Danville, also in a VW powered Diego, and on the outside, car number 14, that's Barry Lindsay. That's his dad in 48. That's Barry on the outside from Danville in a Pontiac Ellis. And bringing up the tail end, car number 14X, making his first start in about three, four years from Escalon, Darrell Marlin. Well, here we go, looking for the flag. Well, Cervetti kind of got the uh, the edge on that one. Well, it's Cervetti over Trip over Rodella. Sleepy Trip moving up on the leader. Ah, uh, Sleepy trying that inside line, but it's very difficult. And an inside attempt in the turn three and four, and coming out it is Trip over Cervetti. And we've completed five laps, completing six right now. for the white flag this last. Coming around for the checkered flag and over the line first it's Sleepy Trip followed by Cliff Cervetti, Jerome Radla. And fourth is number 61, Bill Lindsay, followed by his brother, Joe Lindsay. Well, our first of ten lap heats completed. Now we'll be ready to line up for heat race number two. And on the pole will be the number two Terry Cave's car. That was the first car out of qualifying earlier this afternoon. So on the pole will be number two, the Terry Cave's car. It's a Van Dyne, or excuse me, a Garrity Lightning owned by Terry Caves, driven by Stockton's John Sorale. On the outside will be car number 40, all the way from Glendale, Arizona, Matthew Rossi. Matthew drives a Chevy Stewart. The second row inside will be car number 42. This uh, car and driver out of Watsonville, 
Ken Bonimer. On the outside of Bonimer will be car number 11 from American Canyon, Travis Berryhill. Car owned by Jeff Trout. It's a guarantee powered beast. And bringing up the last row, car number 15. This is Jim Fowler. Jim's from San Mateo. The car is Chevy 2 powered and it is a Challenger chassis. And the final starter, car number 72. Jim Booth out of Hayward. It's his own Pontiac Ellis. So it's another 10 lap heat. Looking for the green, and they get the green flag. It's Sorale and Rossi. Bringing up third is Ken Bonima. Ooh, a little contact there. A little contact between Rossi and Sorale. The car straightened out. Coming down to complete lap number two, it is still Sorale over a very close Rossi. And Bonham is right in the thick of it. The well, Rossi is coming off of that fourth turn, getting a good shot underneath, but he doesn't quite, doesn't quite have the traction to to uh, actually take the lead, he's going to try it again, not quite. Car 72 has dropped out, going to the pit. Going to come around to complete five laps. Well, Bonham in that blue car just sitting back there to see what these two are going to do. Looking to see a chance perhaps to pick them both off. Rossi and Bottoma. Right flag, right flag coming up. And the white flag, it's still Sorale. Looks like Rossi's going to try. Uh, Last dish effort, but I don't think he's going to make it. Nope. And to the line, John Sorale. So the win goes to the Caves. Guarantee Lightning with driver John Sorale of Stockton. Second place, all the way from Arizona. Matthew Rossi, third. Number 42, Ken Bonima. And fourth to number 15, Jim Fowler, almost forgot his last name. And the players are as follows. In the number one car, he holds the track record here at Stockton 99 Speedways from Lodi. That's Michael Wint from Stockton in the 74 car. That's C.W. Davis. And it's his dad's birthday today in the 75 car. That's Chad Holman. Happy birthday to Dave Holman. And in the 67 car, from Stockton, that's Johnny Bird.
Michael Wendt. Chad Holman, C.W. Davis, and the 67 car of Johnny Bird. Hey fans, remember, go to your Subway Sandwich store, and there you'll find the ballots to vote for the most popular driver in each of our divisions out here. Pick up the ballot at the Subway Sandwich shop, bring it out here, deposit it in our ballot box, located at the VIP bleacher stand, and vote for your most popular driver in either the Pure Stock, the Western Late Model, or the Grand American Modified Division. Yes, as I was saying, we have our first female competitor in the Subway Sandwich Hotwood Western Late Model Trophy Dash. The 71 car is Melissa Davis. Along with Melissa Davis is the number nine car from San Jose, Dave Burt. And from Citrus Heights, the number zero two car, that's Eddie Laws. And in the number 74 car, that car is sponsored by Hotwood. He's from Modesto. He's your new track record holder for Stockton 99 Speedway, hard charging Harry Boletto. Spins his number nine card going into turn three. White flags in the air. Harry Boletto's out front. Melissa Davis is in second place. Eddie Law's in third. Harry Boletto, Melissa Davis, the 0-2 car, Eddie Laws, and in fourth place, the number nine car, Dave Bird. We're on the front stretch with Michael Welt. Second time you've been out here in the front stretch, is that correct for this year? Yeah, it is. Well, you did a great job. I know your uh, crew chief said that you guys did a lot of adjustments tonight because of the rain on the track. Could you uh, give us an idea of what you had to do to uh, get the car to hook up? Yeah, it, since it rained this last week, um, the track was a lot different than last week. Going in, it wants to slide, and pu it's pushing, coming off, and we're just chasing it, trying to make the car go fast. <laughs> well, you did a great job, and uh, I, I know it takes a lot to keep these cars going, but you got your car looking great, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to do good tonight in the main event. Yeah, thanks. I just want to finish up front. Absolutely. Well, congratulations, Michael, and we'll uh, see you at the end. Thank you. Congratulations. Well, congratulations, Harry. I know you've got many of these under your belt, but you had a, one of the first ones for this year in this division. We want to congratulate you, and um, we know it's got a lot of laps tonight to go. We see we already got some brake dust on those front wheels. How do you think the track has changed since last week? Well, first things first, we've got to get things in order. Uh, it's a girl, and this, this race was dedicated to her and to my godson that got married today. So thank you very much for that. And as far as the uh, car, it's fine. Well, this is another one of these nights where you showed up real late, and uh, your uh, youngest son made a few hot laps, and he was really smiling. And I wasn't for sure if he was going to come in the pits or he's going to hide in the back and uh, let you drive the 20 car. Well, he said he liked it, so I'm going to have to, he owns half of this car, so I'm going to have to keep up the good work or he'll be driving it. Well, we know it's got a lot of laps yet tonight to go, 100 laps. Uh, first time these Western Late Models have ever gone 100 laps. 
and I know this is the, your, uh, your sponsor's event, the Tri-Holiday uh, Classic, and um, is there anything you would like to um, compliment on your sponsor? Yes, well, we have Hotwood to thank for this, really pushing this division in, in every respect, and uh, we're glad to have him on board. Well, congratulations, Harry, and uh, I know you got a great crew together here, so uh, hopefully we'll see you out front at the end of this uh, 100 lapper in a couple hours. I hope so, too. Thank you. Congratulations, Harry Boletto. It looks like we have on the pole the number 68 car, Ray Bird. On the outside in the number 87 car. In the 87 car, he's from Stockton, that's Michael Matthews. In the 77 car, from Lodi, Karen Wagner. In the number five car, from Stockton, Rompen, Rich Harper. In the 23 car, from Stockton, Dustin Himes. In the 29 car, from Stockton, duct tape, Dave Ball. In the 32 car, that's Bob Simpson. And in the number 65 car, Brian Vosberg. Semi main event, believe we're going to transfer two to the A main. Two cars to the A main. Ray Bird, way out front. Rompin' Rich Harper, the five car is in second place. Challenge on the outside, the 23 car challenges the 87 car off of four. Karen Wagner, Karen Wagner backs it into the tires off of turn four, spinning all the way into the tires on the front stretch. Seven laps down. Twelve lap schedule, 12 lap schedule in this B main event for the Pure Stock division. Okay. Ray Bird and Rump and Rich Harper gonna battle it out right now on lap eight. My oh my, we have a new leader out there, Rump and Rich Rockets, that number five car out to an early lead. And look at the 87 car on the outside of Ray Bird. Michael Matthews challenges the 68 car off of turn four. They are going to drag race down the front stretch. 
laps. Looks like we got a smoker out there. 23 car Dustin Himes. 23 car Dustin Himes. Looks like we got possible flame under the hood. Can't quite tell from here. Oh no, hard off into the wall. The 87 car, wham bam. Oh my, what a wreck down there. Turn one. Turn one, saw it all right there. Take place, the incredible. The incredible chain reaction down there. Man, oh man, you talk about stacking up some race cars. They were whacking and stacking them down there in turn one. Ladies and gentlemen, many, many thousands of dollars. Let's wave and cheer for the mighty midgets of the USAC and BCRA organizations. Here with you tonight at the Stockton 99 Speedway for Midget Thunder. No, I'm afraid we're not going to give them the green flag this way. Now they will move back into their two abreast positions.
Well, a very, very fine win for car number 63X, Danny Stratton. Driving the Jeff Pinkston Esslinger Ed Edgemans and making that uh, pass with just several laps to go. Six to be exact uh, in the first turn, uh, battling Royal with the 11 car, De Beaumont and the 76 car Flock. And we noticed that the 11 car who led for most of that race coasted across the line almost last. Apparently an engine or some other mechanical failure. And he had a sure second or absolutely no worse than a third until apparently a mechanical breakdown. So second goes to car number 76 and that's Robbie Flock. And third to car number 56, Shane Scully, your current USAC point leader. Bringing up fourth was car number 57, Alex Harris, who had to come all the way from the back after being sent to the back before the start. Fourth is number 80, that's Travis Johnson down from Washington. Then car number 63, Rob Russell, followed by car number 70, Thomas Meserol, 26, Glenn Carson, number one, Floyd Alvis, car number two, John Sorelli, car number three, Sleepy Trip, car number 40, Matthew Rossi, and uh, we'll have to recap the race to get the rest of them. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed the midget portion of, the, of tonight's uh, festivities, and of course, the great big 100 lapper coming up here in just a few moments. Uh, so on behalf of the Bay Cities Racing Association and the United States Auto Club, thank you so much for being here. And now I'll turn the mic back over to Wayne. Well, we got Danny on the front stretch, his uh, second time here at Stockton, his first pavement win. He has one dirt win, main event to the, his credit this year. What do you have to say for running here at Stockton and putting on a strong showing for us? Uh, this is a great place, man. Uh, first time in here, we were fast, but just couldn't quite get going. And this time, it was just flawless, man. We got fast time, and we were fast all night, and I knew it. I just needed to stay smooth and, and keep my focus is all. And, um, you know, heck of a field here, and um, that looks really at sometimes, but we made it. Made it we made it. Well, great. Congratulations, uh, Danny, and look forward to you guys coming back again in a few weeks. Yeah, I just want to thank Jeff Pinkston, Edmonds Auto Research, uh, Esslinger Engineering for a great motor, and, I can't say enough about this Edmonds Auto Research car. It's just a great car. Every time you get in it, it gets better and better and better. Well, awesome. Well, we look forward to seeing you guys in a few weeks, and congratulations, Danny. Thank you. Out there, and who's competing tonight? We'll start from the back to the front. In the rear of the field from Manteca in the 57 car, that's David Halsley. And tonight, in the number one car from Clements, brought to you by Napa Auto Parts, the Auto House in Lockford, Lodi Tire Service, Cherokee Auto Body, HP Engine, Wingham and Burnt Farms, Dave Bender, and the Knittle Crew, that's Johnny Burnt. In the zero car, he's from Stockton. He's known as the Wild Child. He's brought to you by Short Track Suspension, Pilcher Farms, Roger Pilcher Trucking, Paws Automotive, and special thanks to Dad. That's Jerry Crawford. In the number 40 car, he's from Galt. Brought to you by Premier Drywall, Olympic Tune, American Fabrication and Welding, Picasso's Paint, Davis and Son Roofing, D and D Construction, and Short Track Suspension. That's Ray Davis. In the number 48 car from Newark, brought to you by Auto Glass Specialties, Swan Racing, and the Exhaust Pros. That's Anthony Swan. The number 55 car, an old racing buddy of mine. He's from Modesto. Brought to you by Smith's Truck Repair, Cox Construction, Vincent's Quality Engine Rebuilding, SNL Excavating, Clausen Trucking, 
And special thanks to Cindy. That's Tony Smith. In the number 76 car. He's a veteran out here at Stockton Speedway. Hasn't competed in a number of years, but he's back, and we're glad to have him. He's from Stockton. He's brought to you by Action Floors. All about stuff. Joey Welch Construction, Stock Car Fabrication. Special thanks to Donna and Debbie and Brenda Goldman. That's Barry Mitchell. In the 62 car, he's from Modesto, also a veteran here at Stockton Speedway. Brought to you by Modesto Transmission, United Rentals, Series Truck Equipment, David's Racing Products, and now in the 62 car is Eric Seeley. In the number 11 car from Lodi, brought to you by Marina Boat Sales, Aguirre and Associates Insurance, the Exhaust Pros. Giant discount tire and transmissions by Hal. That's Chris Monez. In the number 38 car from Manteca, brought to you by TP Ranch, Aunt Mary, Grandma Reba, Monogram Magic, Alan Yorty Motorsports, Davis Racing Products, Accent Carpets, Mormons Water Systems, Grasso Carpet Cleaning. The Gas Depot and Transmissions by Hal, that's Joe Hilton. In the number 23 car, past region points winner for the Grand American Modified Division. He's from Orangevale, brought to you by G. Glenn Plastering, Welch Motorsports, Legorio Communications, Perry Race Cars, Victory Chevy, and Linmore Fence, Mark Welch. In the number 74 car, the fastest human being to ever circle the track in a Western late model. He owns the track record here at the Speedway for this division with a 14-114. Brought to you by California Hotwood, Perco's Cafe, Legorio Communications, Monogram Magic, Boleto Auto Glass, Esco Caterpillar Repair, Bob's Body Shop, Pacifica Pizza, All-American Powder Coating, Boleto Almonds, Bob Pinella Motorsports, AG Sign, Transmissions by Hal, and the Bronze Body, it's two-time track champion, hard charging, Harry Boleto. In the 0-2 car from Citrus Heights, brought to you by Lincoln Auto Body, Precision Lathing, Penny Racing Supply, Performance Auto Supply of Marysville, R&R Photography of Yuba City, that's Eddie Laws. In the number nine car, he's from San Jose. Brought to you by Conti Material Service, Bob Grossi Construction Incorporated, Stock Car Fabrication, Valverde's Restaurant, Wayne and Linda Folletta, Brandon Tire, Valley Enterprises, Action Floors, Ron Roach Signs, Richard Sansom, McSparren Auto Glass, Columns Concrete Pumping, Gillette Motorsports from Lathrop, California, Once Upon a Time Child in the Robin Hood Plaza, give it up for Dave Bird. In the number 71 car, she's from Santa Rosa, brought to you by Carl's Ready Mix and Martin's Truck Repair. That's Melissa Davis. Number 87 cars from Delhi. Brought to you by Modesto Masonry, Fremont Automotive, Transmissions by Hal, The Rear End Shop, Oval Track Graphics, with three championships in the Grand American Modifieds, two at Stockton and one at the Altamont. Also brought to you by Classic Prince, that's Wes Miller. In the number five car from Stockton, brought to you by JM Seal Coat and Paving, Allen and Sons Construction, A1 Transmissions, Genova Bakery, Short Track Suspension, Acme Truck Parts, California Warehouse, and special thanks to John and Stacy Medina, it's Speed Racer himself, Pete Anderson Jr.
in the number 29 car from Valley Springs. Brought to you by Bolin Builders and Roos Racing. That's Tracy Bolin. And tonight, on the pole in the number 20 car from Modesto, part of the famous Racing Bolettos. Brought to you by California Hotwood, Giant Discount Tire, Dave Davis Motorsports, Lagorio Communication, Cruz Lucas Body and Paint, Esco Caterpillar Repair, Dr. Vandemark, Boletto's Auto Glass, Pacifica Pizza, Air Gas, Team Aulis, Monogram Magic, The Bronze Body, Boletto's Almonds, Paint by Greg Payne, and Motor by Earl, that's Jeff Boletto. Now, what we did tonight, we inverted eight. It was either eight, 10, or 12. Harry Boletto was fast time. He drew the number eight. Therefore, we're inverting eight. That is why Harry is fast time and is starting number eight, eighth position. <laughs> 